Okay, this video is on deterministic algorithms, and I may have, you know, again, touched on deterministic algorithms before, and, you know, maybe you guys may have an idea of what it is already, but this video will talk more in depth of, you know, what they really are. Now, as I said before, deterministic algorithms basically can follow this diagram of the input, the algorithm, and then A and B, you know, where the previous state determines the next state of the system, like, are you done? Do you keep going? You know, relation to the Turing machine, you know, again, models, dot com, comp, any, any algorithm, a model on a Turing machine kind of goes along with that. Now, what are examples of some deterministic algorithms? Now, this can be you know it, it, there there are set, there are w many ways you can look at it, but I just brainstormed three random ones. We have opening a door. You know, you open it and then you close it and then lock it. You know, the previous state determines the next state and it's like definitive. You know exactly what you're supposed to be doing next. Scheduling. What you're gonna do? You know, one from one of one one from one. Uh, part of the day to the next part of the day, so on and so forth, you know, in order, you're very structural, you know, you know, you know, counting, you know, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, where exactly can, is this, um, where exactly does this find its place in a complexity theory? Well, it actually runs in linear time. It can be reduced, uh, deterministic algorithms can typically be reduced to linear time because, you know, let's, let's think about them. Let's say you add one more task to your schedule list. Well, it's going to be one more step that, you know, the algorithm has to take. Well, counting to one, two, if I say you have a computer wanting it to count to ten, well, it'll take ten steps exactly. If you count by ones, you know, it's going to take, again, one more. So it's going to be, it's gonna be as you can see, the bound. It's, some algorithms are actually pretty tricky to find the, the complexity of them because they're just, uh, some, some of them are more tricky to deal with. But this one is pretty, this, uh, these examples are pretty simply, uh, you know, linear. They're linear. They run, they run in linear time, which is a very efficient algorithm. They run very, very quickly. And they're going to be done quite fast. So that is an overview of deterministic algorithms. I mean, again, you have a finite state machine. Each uh, previous state defines the next state. And are you done? What do you do next? Et cetera, et cetera. And it can also be typically be reduced to linear time uh, in, in, to solve them, you know, linear uh, according to the size of the input. And so that is an overview of deterministic algorithms. The next one will be on non-deterministic algorithms, which are a little more interesting and often more uh, tricky to deal with. Uh, that's all. That's all for uh, all for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video.